And now, coming through your speakers and into your ears, it's the gaming podcast that you all know and love. It's Show Me Your News! Show Me Your News is a gaming podcast that started in July 2007, and uh, it basically its intent was to cover the news regarding Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the popular Nintendo title, and uh, there was the website, this is Smash Brothers Dojo, which uh, released weekday updates, and the point of Show Me Your News was to cover, uh, on the weekends, to cover all those updates, and um, we ran through Smashboards.com, the Smash World forums, which is the top uh, Super Smash Brothers community online, and um, you know, now we're our own entity at showmenews.com. I'd like to introduce my uh, my co-host for this panel. I have to work with the mic, but okay. Um, my name is Mark Spacia, his brother. Um, so yeah, I've been with Show Me News all along, I guess, and uh, seen it progress from just a. Uh, a podcast off of smashboys.com and then evolve into its own entity and uh, transform in different ways uh, with the fan base that uh, grows at different times depending on the most interesting things that have happened to us over the years. Um, so I chime in when I can and uh, let's go over to more informed guest. Use more informed very well. <laughs> uh, I'm Luke, better known as Cyberlink. I am the hopeless fanboy who mooches off their popularity. And uh, I joined on the uh, site as uh, admin, more or less when we split off about that time. I won a contest to get on, and now they can't get rid of me. Like, I'm not, I forgot to tell you guys, but I'm actually moving into the trunk of your car. Oh, excellent. Fun. Okay, excellent. So, since Show Me News did start off with just, uh, with Brawl Lady, what? Viking Hat is right in the way of the video. It's fast. That's cool. I, I like Dick the bike hat. Yeah, that's awesome. I have awesome. one seat and one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, it's all soft. well, uh, it's just like, that just look really weird. Yeah. Uh, as I said, well, you know, Show Me News did start with, you know, Super Smash Brothers Brawl News, but once, you know, the game did release, uh, we decided to move on to bigger, better things, and, um, you know, we decided to cover, you know, gaming news. It, Led to me earlier this summer, you know, having the, the wonderful opportunity to go out to the Electronic Entertainment Expo out in Los Angeles, California, where um, I got to do amazing things such as attend uh, the Nintendo conference, which was, if you're a Nintendo fan, it was far and away the best thing that you could ever imagine. Um, Keep reminding us. Yeah, I, I had, it was. Make us jealous. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you get to try things like you know, the Nintendo 3DS. Which uh, we're going to be talking about that a little bit later. Basically, want to outline this uh, this panel, but we only got like 40 minutes left or so. But, um, so basically, want to give we already gave a little bit of a podcast issue. We want to talk about how to actually run a podcast because some of you may be interested, you know, talking about things online, just you know, impromptu, even with your friends. And it may not necessarily be about video games. It could be about you know your favorite anime and you know the ep episode might have just came out or the latest manga chapters and you wanted to break it down and dissect it with your friends. All the more power to you. We wanted to give a little bit of background on how to actually podcast. Um, then we want to do a little bit of you know what actually makes our show. We talked about what we're playing, what the latest games we're playing, and a what are you playing section. And then we talk about the latest gaming headlines. Um, for today, we're going to talk a little about you know our thoughts on the Nintendo 3DS. It's going to be a major, major. Uh, you know, technology uh, bit coming this March from the U.S. And also, there's a recent announcement that uh, two of you know the greatest, I would say, you know, handheld uh, puzzle games of sorts 
are supposedly going to be merging together with Professor Layton and the Ace Attorney franchise. Um, will be coming into Japan, we'll talk about the possibilities with that, and um, if it will come to U.S. And then also, there may have been rumors, you've been seeing online a picture of the PlayStation phone. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it to that, and then we'll, we actually have some uh, some Q and A on the, at the end. But we really appreciate. We I first want to thank you for those of you who actually are here. You could have gone to the Ambrose How to Con panel, which is Ambrose. They do a great job with all the stuff they do. So for you to come to, I would be there if I was <laughs> Well, thanks. You give a great <laughs> support. There's another one. But but uh, you know to, to come see a panel about a podcast that does video games to hear you know people talk about video games and to share your passion with it and also to learn about i guess the art of podcasting it's it, it's it's very humbling so um you know how to podcast um first you obviously need a microphone not not need this microphone you want like probably like a desktop microphone this is a little over the top the snowball microphone here um, this one here is it's a nice Logitech boom microphone for about 30 bucks. Works really well for USB. Um, basically, then you want to have you know, Skype if you want to have a guest. That's pretty straightforward. Um, although, if you do have a USB microphone like this, it may be difficult to record uh, both ends of the conversation with you and your guest. So, you know, the podcast show me news says you know had you know different uh, you know configurations right here right now. So we started with you know, it was just me. I scripted the entire podcast about Smash Brothers Brawl news and ranted and raved, and then I had a friend who uh, went to the University of Michigan as well, and that's when it actually started to go from there. And then we had, you know, guests uh, from time to time, like Cyberpunk, actually. Yes, and like I said, I just sort of showed up. <laughs> they've had trouble getting rid of me ever since. Uh, I got on by uh, winning a contest. That's one thing I will give Shomi just credit for, is that you are very involved with your fan base. You very regularly will look for contributors from your regular listeners. And it's very refreshing to see a podcast that uh, really is in tune with its uh, listener base. So. so, yeah, that's something that uh, I'd like to say that we do pretty well is um, not only you know, present the news in a, a nice informative way, um, have a good setup about it, but um, we involve the fan base, um, anyone who's listening as well. We give them a chance to get involved with the show as well. Uh, I had a section um, in Brawl's time called Brawl Viewpoints, um, where uh, any kind of listener gets to record their own MP3 or something and send it into the podcast that can get played um, during the final recording, whether whatever they want to talk about, a possible new uh, you know, feature in the game that they would be hoping to see. Um, we had someone who uh, basically predicted the stage builder um, feature, which was kind of interesting. So basically, different topics that listeners like you in the audience uh, would want to talk about, we give you a chance to voice your opinion on the podcast as well. Um, we also have our own forums where uh, other fans get to talk and discuss and all, and um, you know, other opportunities. We, uh, as Luke said here, that we um, have set up a couple contests uh, for people to um, express themselves even further. Um, through Show Me Your News. So I'd like to say that we um, give a couple opportunities to get people involved. It's not just us talking. We try to get other people involved in what we're saying too. Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely one of the, the keys to if you're going to you know, start a podcast. I, I would recommend you know starting through a, a local forum that you frequent. Um, you have already have an established community like we did with uh, Smashboards.com. You know, make a thread, say that you know you're going to be doing a podcast. You know, give the updates there. It's an easy way to start out. You can you know work through like a media fire kind of thing for your episode uploads. I mean, once you start actually you know going through iTunes and the like, it's optimal to have your own web space. But not everyone has that kind of thing. So, I, I, and like they were saying, you know, to to communicate with the fan base and to be really open with them. It's you know a lot of you know big podcasts like you know the One Up Show or. Other kind of you know shows that are really up there and they do an amazing job, but I guess they don't really listen to like the little guy. And it may be because you know they have you know thousands and thousands of listeners. But when you're starting a show on your own, be it about video games or about anime or the like, uh, to listen to the little guy really makes them you know feel important. And we even have two uh, two of our devoted fans. We got Super and Tony Th. So I want to give them I want to give them a special thanks for actually coming out here to Yomakan. Uh, and they did travel. Um, so aside from how to, I was thinking of like other, you know, 
tips for success. Um, yeah, well, that's you know, for if you have your own web space to set up an RSS feed to go through iTunes, definitely requires a you know stable web space. Um, part of our podcast history is that when you know the podcast really expanded, you know, for you know post release of uh, Smash Brothers Brawl, um, Major League Gaming or some of you know as MLG, the uh, popular game tournament um, company or organization. Uh, bought out the forum that we were a part of and they changed all their servers so the files that we had were they kind of were broken and we lost most of our fan base on iTunes so we're building it back on uh, showmeyournews.com at the moment. Um, so I wanted to give, you know, for most of this panel, I wanted to give like a general idea of what a podcast of ours is like for those that are, you know, you know potential listeners of the story and it would really start with the, the what are you playing section. You know, we start the show and we introduce the guests. I, Sword Hunter, hi Cyberlink, uh, let me show you news. We obviously have a more professional intro like that. And I actually do have a co-host um, named The Buzzsaw, but he's out in Idaho. So I want to give a, you know, a shout out to him because plane tickets are pretty expensive. So we'd start with the what are you playing section. And I'd say, you know, I personally am, am playing Borderlands. It's been something I've been you know, playing for the past few weeks. I picked up the Game of the Year edition. I highly recommend it. It came out a couple weeks ago. It's not only got the first game, but all the downloadable content that it's been released. So you're talking like maybe like 40 additional dollars of content bundled in like a $60 game out for a PlayStation 3, 360, which I have it for, and PC. Um, really, it's, you know, it blends, for those that don't know what Borderlands is, it blends the uh, first person shooter style gameplay with uh, RPG, kind of like a loot sort of thing. So you're, you're taking down enemies, uh, you have challenges to complete, gain experience, and with new levels comes a uh, new experience. I mentioned on a previous episode that it, it's kind of like Mass Effect. In a way. Mass Effect, that's a game that's really close to your heart. Um, where, you know, it's, except that's a third person shooter sort of style. So, where, you know, you're gaining experience and uh, getting those power ups. Aside from that, um, I'm still playing a little bit of Kirby's Epic Yarn. I know the game is adorable. If you, have, if you haven't tried it for the Nintendo Wii, you can't be angry or sad while playing it. It's all happy. It's, I tried. You did? I tried. Well, what do you think of Kirby's Epic Yarn? Uh, I've only gotten to play a little bit so far, but for the maybe half hour I enjoyed it, I made a valiant effort to try and be a sour, angry person. It, it didn't work. It's hopeless. Is there anything else that you've been playing as particularly? Um, there's two games that I've really been playing lately. One very old, one very new. The newer one I've been playing, uh, I said on a previous pod, last time I was on the podcast that I had no intention of getting a PSP unless somebody gave me one. Well, guess what? Somebody gave me one. Oof. And uh, yeah, that's your luck. Something like that. And uh, right now, I'm actually in the middle of playing Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which is uh, for the Metal obviously the Metal Gear fans know Metal Gear sort of divides into two different timelines: the Big Boss timeline and the Solid Snake timeline. And this is sort of at the tail end of the big boss story, right after Snake Eater and Portal Ops. And uh, I've been really enjoying it so far. It's working, it really helps to uh, progress the uh, story Metal Gear. And I do like the mission-based structure. I kind of miss the sort of open world feel the old Metal Gear's had, but I do like the mission structure. It's nice to be able to just go back and replay segments without having to start the game over again. And I'm really eager to see where it goes from here. But, the older game I'm playing, with all the news about uh, Mega Man Legends 3 coming out for the 3DS, which I am very excited about, I actually decided to uh, go back and replay the uh, previous Legends game. So I've already finished Legends 1, 100%, Misadventures of Tron 100%, now I'm working on uh, Legends 2. I'm, I think I'm getting close to the end. Like, I've just gotten the fourth key, so I'm getting up there. And I would say that those games are definitely very much worth playing if you can track them down. I'm, eager to see them get re-released on PSN, which I hear Capcom is working on. And I'm hoping that any smidges out there will take advantage of that and uh, give it a try once they bring it out. When did those Legends game come out? Uh, Legends 2 came out in, I want to say December of 2000. Okay. I, I know sometime in late 2000, I can't remember the exact last decade or so. Right? Yeah. Huh. So, and it's funny because I'm playing Legends 1 Legends 2 back to back. It is ridiculous how much everything, presentation-wise, improves between the two games. It's not even funny, man. It's ridiculous. 